Hi, welcome to this, my second tutorial on calculating one length of a right angle triangle using trigonometry. Now, in earlier tutorials, I showed you how we named the sides of a triangle in relation to an angle theta degrees and the right angle. I also showed you how we connected any two sides of the right angle triangle through three trigonometric ratios called sine, cos and tan. And we had a short phrase that could help us remember this, socator. And if you want a reminder on these, just go back to my earlier tutorials on my website under trigonometry. Okay, right, let's just get started then on this next example. Let's suppose we have a house and a ladder leaning against the house. And we have a right angle triangle in here. We have the right angle down here. So suppose we want to find one of the lengths of this right angle triangle. In order to do that, or in any trigonometric problem, when you want to find a length, what you must always know is another side and an angle in the triangle. So, let's say that this angle here, the inclination of the ladder with the ground, was say 65 degrees. And the distance that the ladder was away from the base of the wall, let's say that was 1.8 meters. Well, we could find either the distance that the ladder is up from the ground, or we could even find the length of the ladder. So, let's suppose we want to find the length of the ladder. We'll call it x. Now, when you're trying to calculate a length then, in a right angle triangle, and you're given an angle other than the 90 degrees and one side, what you've got to do is always label the two sides the side that you want to find and the side that you're given. Now the side that we want to find is opposite the right angle and that is called the hypotenuse. So we'll just label that with an H for short. The side over here is opposite the 65 degrees so this would be called the opposite side. I don't want that side and I'm not given it. I'm given this side here. So that leaves that side as the adjacent side. So I'm going to label that with an A. We'll put that just there. Okay, A for adjacent side. Now that I've got the two sides, I need to look down through the three trigonometric ratios and find the trigonometric ratio that connects A and H together. And you'll notice that is the cosine ratio cos theta for short. It compares the adjacent to the hypotenuse. So we need to write that down as the cosine or cos for short. It says theta. Theta is the angle in general that we're going to use and that for this example would be the 65 degrees. So we've got 65 degrees there. Cos of 65 equals and it says the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So the adjacent would be the 1.8 meters and divided by the hypotenuse which is x. Now when you're doing trigonometric questions finding a length the x will either appear on the top of the fraction or it will appear on the bottom of the fraction. And in this example I'm going to show you how we handle it when x appears on the bottom. So what you need to do is in cases like this, multiply both sides of your equation by the x. So we would therefore have x multiplied by the cosine of 65 degrees equals x times the 1.8 divided by x. Now, because we times both sides by x, these two x's over here cancel one another out, leaving me with the 1.8. So if I just write that down again, we therefore have x multiplied by cosine of 65 degrees equals 1.8.
Now to get x now, all I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by the cosine of 65 degrees. So I'll do that now. I'll divide this side by the cosine of 65 degrees. But I must remember to do that on the other side. So we we'll divide that by cosine of 65 degrees. Now on the left hand side, this would reduce down to simply x because these two cancel one another out, giving me 1. x times 1 is just x. So now I'm in a position to work out what x is. x is the result of dividing 1.8 by the cosine of 65 degrees. So I just need to do this on any scientific calculator which has the trigonometric function sine, cos and tan on. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. With a, you should see a little D here or DEG for degrees. If not, make sure you switch it into the correct mode. Uh, just consult your manual if you're not sure how to do that. So we just need to do then 1.8, so 1.8 divided by the cosine, cos for short, of 65 degrees. 65, close off the bracket and press equals. So you can see then that x is equal to 4.8 259 and so on. We need to just round this to an appropriate degree of accuracy. We're working to one decimal place here so I would suggest that we just do this to one decimal place so that would be 4.3. 4.3 meters to one decimal place, 1 dp. And I always check just to see if that length seems to make sense. The triangle is drawn in reasonable proportion and 1.8 meters is just shorter 2 meters and comparing that length to this length would mean that 4.3 meters seems quite a reasonable answer. So as I say always check that out. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial on trying to calculate a length when the length x is in the denominator of the fraction.